obsessed with bubble tea. And it all began here in Taiwan, where the drink was invented in the 80s. Nowadays, it's not just about adding tiny tapioca balls to your drinks. Here are five different ways Taiwanese enjoy boba. Worry not, the boba is not actually cooked in the oven because it is intended as a dessert rather than a main course. They actually add fruits and a milk tea mousse, so it really feels like you're having a solid version of the milk tea drink. And it's definitely a very lovely crust. I'm so used to boba being sweet, I'm not sure what to make of them when they're savoury. Also, it means you have to chew for a long time. I think I'll stick with the original meat size. Let's give it a try. I love the cream filling and the textures that the tapioca balls add to it. I wouldn't mind having this for breakfast every day. Now let's move on to desserts. Here it comes! Thank you. Brain freeze. Surprisingly, it's not just sweet, but you could actually taste the flavor of the tea as well. Last stop of our boba tour, we are here at Rao He Night Market. We're gonna check out some boba souffle. Let's go! It's so fluffy and light. Of all the things that we've tried, I think this is the one where the boba goes best with the fruits. I really love it. 